How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Now, today, we've got an interesting topic on our hands. We're going to be talking about a few different things, such as trademarks, as well as some, you know, rumors and that sort of stuff. Uh, but generally, we've got a bunch of information to talk about today. We're going to cover it, talk about it, as well as merchandise information. But also, I want to just talk about something really quick. As you guys may have heard, I have started my secondary channel, or rather, reused one of my old channels, to kick off Ruffled News. Now, Ruffled News, which should be on this side of the screen right now, you guys should be able to see it. Um, the Ruffled News is meant to be... Um, kind of, I mean, <laughs> the way I'm going to put this is going to be weird, but it's meant to be a news channel and a channel where I do the same thing I do on this channel, but for different games, right? Whether it be all of Nintendo, PlayStation, etc., right? I want to cover a bunch of stuff on there, but I want to know if there's any specific topics right now, any leaks, rumors, or that sort of stuff that are regarding any other Nintendo franchises or PlayStation franchises that you really want to see covered, then if you do have any, send it my way. Whether it, like, the same way you guys send me information right now with Pokemon, you can send that sort of information with, to me about just other stuff as well if you want to. Just feel free to do it. I am available. I'm ready. You can email it to me at rufflerallet at gmail.com or you can tweet it at me at Twitter um, at Twitter at rigpop420. That's my Twitter, Twitter at or just search up, you know, go on go on Google, search up Ruffle Rally Twitter account and you'll find my, you know, my main one which is not like the, there's another one that isn't like, you know, that I don't own which is, or I do own but it's an old one that I don't use which is not the right one but the one called at rigpop420, that's the real one. Okay, either way, besides that, I just want to point that out real quick. I've got the second channel. I just want to do a quick little plug for it here and ask you guys to check it out if you want to. Uh, so far, I've done one video talking about Soldier Boy and his like little shit show. I uh, just wanted to talk about that, just give my little you know two cents on it. But I want to do more videos covering other things that are more more new and interesting. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to send them my way. I lovely you know I'd love to cover them and talk about them. Either way. Let's get into the actual Pokemon stuff here, which is what you guys are here for. So, here we go, guys. The first thing here that was sent to me by one of you guys, uh, I think it was Cookie. Uh, Cookie sent this to me on Twitter, and uh, it's basically um, a post by Nido17 here, or rather, a tweet from Nido17 at PokeExperto. Of course, PokeExperto being a big Twitter account and, you know, big website as well that covers Pokemon news and information. But in Spanish, though. So, um, he was tweeting this at them because Poke Experto does keep track of a lot of the, um, you know, a lot, a lot of the uh, merchandising, sorry, not merchandising, trademarking of uh, Pokemon um, products, so to say. So, he sent this my way, or rather, one of you guys sent this my way, Cookie sent this my way, and asked me, you know, or rather, why don't you just hear my thoughts on it? So, here it is, guys. So, basically, this was posted on uh, Bulba Garden here. And we'll open up the image slightly larger here to see what it's all about. So somebody on Bulba Garden posted this and said that Nintendo filed several uh, times in many countries the bra uh, brand name Pocket Monsters uh, for the last three to four days. Now, the way this guy says it, it sounds a little bit weird. So he says since three to four days, but I guess he means for the last, uh, you know, the past uh, three to four days. It's strangely enough, to, is it strangely enough to expect, to expect an ad? Now, I'm not sure if by ad he means like a trailer. I think that's what he means because ad sounds a little bit weird, but... um. Either way, though, so for those who don't know what Pocket Monsters is, well, Pocket Monsters is the name for Pokemon in Japan, right? Pocket to Monster, right? Um, that's the name they use. So it's really strange that they're trademarking Pocket Monsters in other countries. Now, maybe it makes sense, you know, in like Korea, Japan, sorry, Korea, Japan, of course, definitely Japan. Uh, but then, it, you know, it points out that they've been doing it for several, you know, many different uh, different countries. Um, and some examples are, you know, China, for example, is one place you can do it in. Uh, Korea, you know, Korea, Vietnam, etc. Like a bunch of Asian countries might call the games pocket monsters instead of Pokemon, right? It would make sense, but I'm not sure about it though. So when you look at it here, the first image, of course, is this one, which shows us the just general name being, you know, translated and copyrighted or trademarked. But then you also have like a list here of all the trademarked ones that have been revealed. So we got Pocket Monsters, uh, which was revealed. We got this one right here, which is also, I guess, Pocket Monsters, but in a different language. Then also this one, which is uh, Pocket Monsters in a different language. I could be wrong here. I'm not sure which languages these are. Are these like, you know, Japanese, Korean, Chinese? I mean, they look like they might be Chinese because um, like, the, the style is way more, it looks way more like Chinese lettering rather than uh, Japanese. But um, then we've also got monsters down here. So these ones are the revealed ones. Sure, you know, kind of weird that monsters is separate here, you know, being copyrighted uh, or trademarked separately, but it's happening, so who cares? Either way, next point though. This is where it gets interesting. So not yet visible trademarks have also been filed. And there are quite a few of them actually. So there is one, two, three, four, five. There are five different trademarks. Actually, is it five? Yeah, it's five of them. So there are five of these that have yet to be, you know, revealed, and these tend to take about five to six days, I think, or about a, it's like five to five days to a week uh, to 
basically get revealed. Um, but then when we compare to this one up here, I mean, I'm not sure if, if these two in the middle are both also saying pocket monsters, uh, then maybe these ones will also just be the same thing going on here. But this also could mean, like, considering we're so in such a weird period right now, you guys know this. Anybody watching my videos, you know we're in a weird, 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 weird situation right now where half the stuff that we're getting, um, or rather, like, how do I put this? We're in a position right now where anything could happen at any given time. We know the reveal is coming. We know Generation 8 is coming, which is not something we're used to. We're used to going in, in, a, in a manner where we don't know that something is coming. We usually work with, like, n with basically nothing. We're just kind of like, you know, in the thin, like working with thin air and with nothing, you know, as substantial at all. But we're doing that same thing right now, except we already have the knowledge that we're getting a game. You know, if you look back at like 2015, right? Uh, you know, prior to Sun and Moon being revealed. You know, nobody knew back then that we're going to be getting a game in 2016 and it was going to be revealed in, this, you know, in the start of the year. We didn't know that. We didn't know anything about an upcoming game or that was, we were going to be getting a new game. You know what I mean? We didn't know about it. We were expecting something, but we didn't know for sure. The difference now is we know we are getting a game this year. Now it's just a matter, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when, you know what I mean? You know, when is it going to be revealed? You know, it's got to happen sooner or later because you've got to remember, and this is something I've talked about before, um, the difference between a remake Pokemon game and a new generation game is that a new generation game needs far more time to get its promotional cycle going, you know what I mean? You've got to get people used to the idea of like, these brand new Pokemon, these brand new games, you've got to advertise it a lot and get people to understand that, okay, cool, this is the end of Generation 7, the anime is going to be ending, you know, at the end of the year when the next game comes out, new anime, new Pokemon, new universe, you know, not universe, but new region, so to say, right? You gotta get that promotional cycle going. And what have they been doing? They've been doing that exact thing for the last two generations. Generation 6 was revealed early in January, and it got this promotional cycle through a full year almost before the game, you know, came out. I mean, not full year, but like nine to ten months, right? That's a long time to give promotional time for the games. Like, that's a lot of time, you know what I mean? Um, we're actually almost like 11 months when you think about it, but like, you know, you give them a lot of time to get a promotional cycle going. And the same thing was done with Generation 7. It was revealed early in the year of 2016, and then it got a promotional cycle all the way until it was revealed, released in November. Um, and that's the thing though, that's the difference between like that, like the mainline new, new generation games versus remakes. Remakes don't need the same amount of time for promotion. Why? Because we already know what the games will be like. We already know the region, we already know the Pokemon, right? We don't need the same amount of time to get used to these Pokemon, used to this new region, and all this stuff. We don't need that. We just do not. Like, we already know what we're getting, so there's no point in actually telling us about that once more. We already know about it, so all you need is, like, half the time to promote it, just to get people into the idea of buying that same game again, or rather just buying the remake of a previous game they've played and just get the nostalgia going. Uh, but with a new generation, you can't rely on nostalgia, because nostalgia isn't a viable source of you know hype instead you're relying on people that want to see something new and also you got to give them more time to just kind of melt through it i remember when i saw sun sun and moon for the first time i was a bit like ah when i first saw it when i you know back in 2016 i was a bit like mm. but then you know as i kind of like you know kept watching trailers and you know getting information leaks rumors etc i kind of started warming up to it i was like okay this is this is looking pretty cool i mean of course the game ended up being whatever it was at the end uh, a little bit of a in you know poorly paced game um but that's besides the point. My point is they need more time to promote the game. And that's why revealing it at, at the soon enough time makes the most sense. They got to reveal it in the next two months. It is going to happen. The next two months, it's going to be happening. We're almost at the end of January right now, which is holy crap. It's so insane to say that. We just had New Year's recently. Um, but we're almost done with January. We're moving into February, which just means that now we're in kind of the end game for reveal, right? This is where it's gotta soon happen. Like February and March is where it's gonna happen. If they reveal it in April and May, that's a little bit worrisome. Um, th that's a little bit worrisome because they usually never do that. They usually always reveal them early on in the year for promotional reasons, but will they delay it this time of the, this year because there are so many other things to compete with? I mean, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Detective Pikachu, we've got um, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, we've still got the Sun and Moon anime, not even done yet, just now moving into its, like, final stages, which still has got a full year until it's, you know, fully finished off. We got that, and on top of that, we have a bunch of other stuff as well for Pokemon coming, so we've got a lot of things on our hands that are going on, as well as Generation 8, and any potential spin-offs that might be being, you know, might be being created right now that we don't know about. There's basically a lot of things happening, okay? There's a lot of things happening, so the question is, when can we see this reveal? 
I do not know. But if this is any indication for what we might be, ex we should be expecting, if we look at this right here, these are trademarks. Trademarks can give us a lot of information. Sun and Moon had its trademarks revealed like a week or two, about, I think two weeks, uh, two weeks before Sun and Moon got its reveal trailer, uh, you know, or rather its announcement that showed us what the game was. Before we got that, we had the actual names leaked, okay, leaked through the trademark uh, trademarks. Uh, that's how we got to know what the names were. So we could have the same, same thing going on here. And if we do see the names leak out, the actual names through pr proper trademarks, just as a bullshit made up thing, but actual proper trademarks, we could be looking at a potential, you know, soon soon to be revealed, right? If we do get trademarks, these once these are visible and we get to know what these are saying, this should give us an indication of when, you know, we should be, if we, if we should be expecting anything anytime soon. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep that in mind. Either way, I've gone through that. Now, uh, this was, of course, uh, the person who sent it to me, uh, CoolCookie21. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Just want to give credit to you real quick here for sending this my way. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, the next thing on our agenda here is something that was posted by Poke Experto, which is that they have a new Bandai Pokeball series uh, for the occasion of the Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution movie. Basically, a uh, new merchandise that looks like these uh, little little, you know, Pokeball capsules or whatever, which look freaking awesome, actually. Like, I think these look sick. Uh, this one's, like, the one for, you know, Mewtwo or whatever, for, for the movie specifically, like, the unique one. Um, and basically, it's going to be, like, the Mewtwo ball. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be appearing in the, uh, you know, uh, the, the one that's going to be appearing, that did appear, rather, in the original movie. Uh, and these will be going in sale on May the tw uh, May 2019. Uh, for about 35 euros, so that's gonna be oof, that's a that's a that's a big old price too. That's a that's a nice nice massive price pricing there. If I'm gonna be honest, but uh, they do look pretty cool. So I just want to mention that real quick for anybody that's curious. And yeah, I think besides that, I think we've gone through most of the stuff. I'd also want to recommend a video if you guys want to check it out. Go check out Joe Merrick, uh, Joe Merrick's uh, sorry not Joe Merrick, uh, Paul Ryan's. Uh, Joe Merrick also has, has some has, has some stuff. You know, Cerebi has had some posts that I want to talk about and discuss in terms of merchandise. But if you want to know more about merchandising itself and some really good information right now uh go to paul ryan's channel pokey shopper um on youtube and check out his latest video because it covers a lot of information that i think is worthwhile when it comes to merchandising and also his video before the newest one also covers some some reasoning as to why we should keep track of the merchandise when we're thinking about the build-up for generation 8 because the thing is we're expecting this reveal at any given time so it's very worthwhile to check that out please do if you want to and yeah thank you guys so much for watching my name is rofa have yourselves a great day and bye bye ladies and gentlemen